Holy sh- that was good. Who made it? Marty made it! Hi, I'm Marty, and I made it. And now I'm going to show you how to make it. Beer brats. Everyone in Wisconsin has their own recipe, and this is mine. Here's what you're going to need. Two large yellow onions. Two large red onions. Two large nectarines. Stay with me here. It works. And a party pack of Johnsonville brats. These are the original brats. There's a dozen in here. And a six pack of Miller High Life. I can only guarantee results if you use these. I've got an eight quart stock pot here. I'm just starting with the yellow onion. Take the skin off. We're gonna chop this up. Doesn't need to be real accurate. Just a loose chop on these. Put them into the pot. Same thing for the red onion. If you're curious whose voice it is at the opening of the video, I would stay tuned to the end. He's a local celebrity in the greater Milwaukee area, and there might even be some singing. Nectarine, you're gonna get that pit out, and then you're just gonna cut these into slices, just like the onion, get that in the pot. All right, now for the brats. This is controversial here. I'm using a toothpick. I poke my sausage. Some people say you're not supposed to poke your sausage, but I poke my sausages. Now I do this for a couple of reasons. This allows our boiling mixture to get inside the casing. It also allows some of the fat to escape so that we don't have as many flare ups on the uh, grill. And I hate when I bite into a brat and there's just loaded with grease and it runs down my chin. We'll get these all in the pot. Then we'll go over to the stove. Basically here, when we add the beer, we're just adding enough so that we can cover. And we've got just enough to cover here. Just want to make sure it has a little wiggle room. Now I'm going to turn the heat on. I'm going to bring this to a boil. I'm going to do this on medium high. I'm not going to do this on high. I want it to come up a little bit more gradual. This is boiling nicely. Now I'm going to back this down to a simmer. There's no reason for me to be sitting here poking these, but apparently I felt that I needed to. So put the lid back on. We'll let this hang out for about an hour on simmer. Basically what I look for is I look for the red onions to really have given up their color. Their color is really uh, faded on them. All right, out of the hot tub and into the fire. I'll get these out. It's always a good idea to count how many brats you had starting off so you don't forget one in there. I have been known to do this, so there's 12 there, and that's what I started with. All right, let's go to the grill. I preheated my grill. I got it between 300, 350 degrees. I, it's more of a medium heat. These are already cooked. We're just looking for color. Give them a little space between each other. Once we got those on, shut the lid, and guess what? In a couple minutes, we're gonna turn them. I'm just gonna flip these. Give them the old 180. All right, so two of the sides are cooked. Let's just give them a quarter turn. Have them stand up a little bit so we can get that backside. Once we got the backside, 180. We're gonna get the underbelly. These brats look great. Nice color on them. Let's get them off the grill. And let's head for final assembly. As for final assembly, it's up to you. Use your favorite bun, use your favorite mustard or condiments. This is a nice choice here. Basic bun, yellow mustard. My favorite way though is on a pretzel bun with a little bit of sauerkraut and mustard. Very tasty. So that's my Wisconsin Beer Brats. Thanks for watching. And please visit my website, martymadeit.com where you can leave your comments on this video or you can take a look at my world recipes that I'm currently working on. If you'd like to get notifications of when I have new posts out and you want to get them via email, please enter your address in this black box you see on the home page. And remember, Marty made it. Now you can make it. Darn, that's the end.